Well, hello, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you virtually, and hopefully we'll have a chance to meet in person before too long. I've been given 15 minutes to try to sell you the concept of the local botany network. So I'm going to press ahead with that very quickly, uh, share my screen, and we'll get started. So the Local Botany Network is a relatively new concept in BSBI. Uh, we're all familiar with local groups, and sometimes our networks are still referred to as local groups. But uh, groups and networks are something quite different. So let's start by defining our terms. A local group uh, tends to be a small group of people closely connected. So people who know each other, people who like going out botanizing together, perhaps with the Vice County Recorder. Uh, they, it's the same people and they go out regularly. A local network is a large number of people loosely connected. So this is something quite different. And this is what we're going to explain just now. Uh, we have at the moment 160 people connected across our three local networks, that's that's something quite different, obviously, from a local group. When I took over as a Vice County Recorder in 2016, I was very daunted by the role and very aware of my lack of experience and expertise. What I needed was somebody who knew more than I did, somebody to be my right-hand person, somebody with knowledge and experience, somebody with energy and enthusiasm, somebody good with computing, uh, somebody full of ideas, somebody who could introduce me to all the right people, uh, somebody who would be guaranteed good natured in the face of whatever I threw at them, perhaps good with a camera, etc. And I'm very delighted to be able to make the introduction because I found exactly those skills. And it would have to be somebody very special. And I can assure you, it is somebody very special because it's not just one person. All those skills are available in a network. And since we're in Vice County 77, we have imaginatively called ourselves Team 77. Uh, since this came into being, look what happened to recording activity in Lanarkshire. From 2016 onwards, the level of recording was at least double what it had been at best in the rest of the century up to that point. So we now have three networks, one in Lanarkshire, one in Renfrewshire, and one in Dunbartonshire. Uh, the Renfrewshire and Dunbartonshire ones began in 2021 on the basis of the success of the Lanarkshire model. So we now have 160 people connected. Uh, what they do is they receive a newsletter um, and we offer over 50 field outings per year across the three networks. This is a lot of activity. These newsletters go to people who many people just enjoy receiving the newsletter with these nice pictures and nice stories and we don't hear from them, but they are interested but then some of those people eventually turn up on outings. We've been able to pioneer winter study groups on Zoom. Uh, we've entered into partnerships with other bodies such as the Scottish Wildlife Trust locally or uh, the RSPB locally and local councils, um, the Countryside Ranger Service and so on and so on. We've been able to run BSBI workshops and staff them with our own people. We've been doing Zoom events. Uh, we have our own photo website, and we've now got a social media presence as well. So all these things have become possible through a network that I couldn't possibly have managed as the sole Vice County Recorder. So that's our story. How about you? Why would you want to start a new local network? So here are some of the reasons why you might want to. You might want to increase recording activity. You might want to engage in a specific project to photograph your plants and showcase them. 
Uh, you might have a vision for training and getting people into botany from beginners onwards. Uh, you might be thinking of finding new leaders and people who could one day um, take the responsibility as part of a VCR team. So you have to work out what you would like to achieve. Try and go for a project which is well-defined as your raison d'etre. You've no doubt heard of the SMART acronym. So make your uh, new objective specific, make it measurable so that you know how you're getting on, make it achievable so that you're not investing in failure but success, make it realistic. Um, you need somebody to curb the dreamer in your group and say, yeah, that's all very well, but will it work? And finally, uh, have it time bound so that there's a completion date, it's not forever. Here is the target we set ourselves in Dunbartonshire, to achieve a fresh botanical record for each of our 704 one kilometer map squares in 10 years from 2021. As you can see that target, that statement fulfills the SMART criteria. And incidentally, uh, roughly 100 of our one kilometer squares had never been recorded and another 100 plus hadn't been looked at for 30 or 40 years or had only fewer than 10 records ever. So set yourself a target. Why would people want to join your network? Well, people are essentially selfish. So if you can sell them the idea of common cause, we're all in this together and everyone matters, uh, people will join in when they think they personally can make a difference. People like to join a winning team. And the other thing that people are really drawn by is the chance to grow and develop. Um, and field botany, as you know, is an area where learning can happen very quickly. So if people can see a personal benefit to them and also an opportunity to make a difference, that's a big draw. What do you need to start a network? Well, the obvious thing is you need to set aside quite a lot of time and you have to be prepared to work hard, uh, particularly in the early stages. Before you have a big group of people, uh, you will need to drive this uh, quite firmly to start with. But as more and more people become involved, so tasks can be shared out and new ideas come along and everything becomes easier. You need a team and it doesn't need to be a big team, it can be two or three people, but two or three people who agree to share the load and get this thing to happen. Who do you need? What skills do you need in your team? Well, you need a main botanist, obviously, ideally the vice county recorder, but it could be uh, some other experienced person, someone who's able to quality assure any records that are made and who knows how to use the referee system or um, can have a, a mentor uh, to help them. You're also going to need somebody who's good at the data side, somebody who can generate checklists and maps and so on. And uh, don't be like the vice county recorder I know who thinks that field work is something you do in the summer and data is something you do in the winter you're going to need someone ideally who's going to do data in real time so that you've got that feedback loop and you know how you're getting on. If you're doing a big recording project, you want to see the results of that within days rather than sometime next year. You're going to need a good organizer. Somebody, some people, you must know people like this, who they can just make things happen. They're efficient. When they say they'll do something, it's done. Um, they're just talented at that. You need somebody like that in your team. And you need a communicator, a people person, a smiley face, an enthusiast, someone who's really got time to talk to people and make them feel good. So I've said two or three people in your team. As you can see, I've highlighted four skills. So some people are going to have to be good at more than one of those things. So you start to think, who are the people you know who could be in a team, a small team that has those skills in it? 
Then there's the secret ingredient. Uh, this is really important. The secret ingredient is the positive ethos. Everybody matters. Um, when people know that they're important, they come back for more. Um, I'll tell you a story about this. Uh, somebody sent me a photograph of a very ordinary plant. I can't remember what it was, but let's say it was a daisy. Um, they sent me the picture. And instead of saying, oh, for goodness sake, send me something interesting. Why are you bothering me with daisies? I said, it's a daisy. And it's obviously a very good picture. You must have a good camera and you know how to use it. So we'd like to use that picture in our next newsletter. Is that okay with you? And do send pictures of other plants in your area because you've probably got more things growing than you know. And if you send me pictures, we can see about identifying them. And through a process of gradually working with this person, uh, she actually gave up her career in marketing, went to college, became an environmental surveyor, and now has a new career. And it all happened through sending me a picture. So here's a quote from my mum. People are drawn towards the source of their encouragement. If you can just think with every interaction with the people in your network, individually, when they email you, what can I say that's authentic and positive and makes them feel good and makes them feel valued? And if you can get that knack, everything will flow. I'm leaving you with my contact details. Um, you're welcome to email me anytime. Please visit the county pages for Lanarkshire, Renfrewshire and Dumbartonshire on the BSBI website. You can read all our newsletters. Hopefully you will pick up the vibe of what's going on. We've got some wonderful scenery in West Central Scotland and we do enjoy our field botany. And the final thing to say, that quote in the yellow box, a network makes no demands, it creates possibilities. People don't like joining things. People don't like commitment these days. People don't want to feel that they have to be loyal and turn out in rain and shine and even when they don't feel like it. A network doesn't place that burden on people. It says, we're go here's our program, we're going to be at this place at on this date and we're going to be at that place on that date and here's where you can park your car and here's what we're going to do and people just turn up um, and even if it's the only time in their life they turn up they're free to turn up everybody matters and uh, that is uh, leading to success because people then don't feel it's a burden they feel it's an adventure as the wise man said from little acorns great oak trees grow. I'll leave that on the screen for a moment, but thank you for your attention, and I do look forward to meeting you. Uh, it would be great if one county in Ireland were able to form a new network in time for the start of the 2024 season. I think that's possible. How you choose that county is entirely your business. I won't be involved in that at all, but I will commit that once um, a location has been identified that we'd like to give this a go. I will commit to coming in person to brainstorm with the small team and get things set out and then to offer ongoing mentorship and support by Zoom or by email thereafter. So I think I managed that in 14 minutes. So uh, unfortunately, I can't answer your questions, but you're very welcome to email me with questions and I look forward to hearing what happens next. Thank you.